Hey guys, today's video features the moments from my bicycling trip to Altusland, starting from Hamburg. There'll be sightseeing, ship spotting, and a lot of beautiful landscapes along the way. So let's go. Hey guys, I'm in Hamburg today. This is gonna be my ride for the day while I go to Altusland. This is the place where I'm staying. Well, this is one of the neighborhoods in Hamburg. The plan is to ride along the river near the Hamburg port area and then eventually take a ferry. Exploring the city and only a few kilometers into the ride, I reached the spot where there's a restaurant called Dialogue in the Dark. I haven't been there yet, but maybe soon because it sounds interesting. Once used as warehouses, the present-day UNESCO World Heritage Red Brick Complex, which also qualifies as the largest warehouse district in the world, is quite a sight and stands right next to the frequent front runner in the city's best building list, the Elbville Harmony. There is an entry for this right about there and you take a ticket which is free and then you can walk up till the observation deck which is there and then you can walk around get a view of the port in a bit. I'm gonna queue up there, go up and check out the view from the top. A short queue and a free ticket later, one of the longest escalators led me to the plaza viewing platform with this fine view. The city of Hamburg has a well-deserved reputation as Germany's gateway to the world. It is the country's biggest port and the second busiest in Europe. The harbor is the heart of the city and you'll never run out of options of the things you can do while you're in the Ripperbahn area. From this viewpoint, you can also see the site location of the hit musical, The Lion King and Mary Poppins. And easily, you can take one of these many ferries to reach there. I've been to Hamburg on numerous occasions by ship with work and it is easily one of the best ports as many important attractions are centered around the port. If you haven't already, then you should try the Sunday morning fish market as well. The escalators here are the world's first arced escalators and nearly 13,000 people travel on them each day. Then there's also guided tours available for a small fee, which will tell you more fun facts about this beautiful landmark. Hamburg architecture draws richly on its maritime tradition. One of the highlights of the Hamburg Harbour Tour is the Dockland office building. It sits opposite to the Hamburg Container Terminal where I've been so many times. And this glass and steel structure most vividly follows the form of a ship. It's right in the port and looks a lot like one of these yachts. Speaking of ships, one of the medium-sized container ships was entering the harbour near the location where I had to take the ferry. It's amazing how huge they appear when being looked at from land because while on board, you hardly notice it. The ferry, which also comes under the city's public transport, operates every 15 minutes and the tickets are available on board as well as in the boarding area. A quick trip across the Elbe and post a little bit of cycling, stunning landscapes were waiting to welcome me on the other side of the city. I was surprised how much the landscape changed in just a short span of time. Huge industrial structures gave way to endless farmland and homely houses with beautiful private gardens. The place I was cycling, it wasn't a cycling track at all. It's actually a flood protection embankment. That's because the river runs right alongside. This protects the water from breaching the houses on the other side. Nonetheless, the view I got was so encouraging that I chose to cycle on top of this. All right, so after riding around 35 kilometers from Hamburg and of course taking a ferry in between, I have reached finally in this place called the Altusland. Thank you, there was someone who was uh, mowing his lawn. So, oh, that starts again. But anyway, so <laughs> this is very, very beautiful, small. Right now, a little bit noisy, but I would just imagine this is like a very nice, peaceful place, Altusland, and it's definitely worth the, the riding, the day trip, and uh, it's just unfortunate that this, this, you know, lawn mowing thing is going on right now, but it's just, uh, yeah, there it is. That's the lawn mowing sound that you get in the background. But anyways, so I've walked a bit further away, away from where I was. So this is a windmill, which is a restaurant, cafe. I'm not gonna go inside, but it's more like a nice old style windmill, which has been uh, renovated and probably made into a restaurant now. So this is quite good. It's definitely very beautiful. It's very peaceful. I mean, I was expecting something like this based on what I read on the internet. Coming from Ham Hamburg, I would imagine that this is one of these, you know, like a big contrast because Hamburg is like one of these big cities a lot of cars, a lot of people, a lot of traffic. And here is like absolutely calm, peaceful, quiet. I mean, that is what I was looking for when I was visiting this place. And it's absolutely beautiful, small houses. And now I'm gonna make way towards there. That's one of these churches in the area. And hopefully that would also be the town center. And then from there, look for a transport back towards Hamburg. 
because I don't plan on riding all the way back. There in the distance is the, the, the windmill which is now a restaurant. So I'm coming from that direction and slowly crossing the city and then moving towards the outskirts. Believe me, it's absolutely difficult to ride in this place without stopping every five minutes because a while ago I was at some place where I could see that, the church, and now I'm here and look at the scenery around me. I'm just gonna flip the cam. And this is what I see behind me and this is just yet again i mean i'm repeating the same words over and over again but it's just so beautiful this area and it's just you know i'm quite happy that i made this trip and i'm here right now and the weather is also quite good today compared to the last three days where it's been gloomy i'm like next to the street with some cars so maybe it's a little bit noisy but definitely this is one of these places and if you're in hamburg or anywhere around you want to make a day trip to this place it's just absolutely incredible and this is definitely one of these places you must visit even though this is a small town, but there's also a tourist center here. Oh, the guy helped me click a photo a while ago. You hardly see any people here, it's quite surprising. And not just the buildings, but it's also very beautiful in terms of the nature and the gardens. I'm here now, here now at one of these crossovers. For me, the direction to go would be that, because that's the place where the train station is. It's a bit late, it's 1930, so most of the shops are closed. And there's one guy here, uh, two guys here, who are just making circles in the scooter, but it's quite weird because this was very different from what I experienced. In oh, wow, so can you imagine that? Wow, that was crazy. And that's not the city what I've experienced so far. It's very nice and quiet and calm city and that was the first and the only weird situation I came across. I am now going to make way towards this direction because 12 kilometers in that direction would be a train station from where I plan to go back to Hamburg. After riding around 10 more kilometers from the last point, I'm now in the city called Buxtehude and here is the S-Bahn which I'm going to take towards the city of Hamburg back inside the apartment building after a great day and that's what the distance count looks like all right guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to motivate me further as always keep exploring thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one